Resha booking system tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build your business's booking system with Fresha. Now, Fresha is a tool that I've used to book my own treatments, but did you know that you can set up your booking system really easily and for free using Fresha? So for this, all you have to do is head on over to Fresha.com and then click on for business on the top right. Now this shows you the other end of Fresha where you're going to sign up as a business and then you are going to create your account to build your own booking system. So click on join for free over here and once you click on join for free, you're going to click on for business and then once you click on for business, you can proceed with your sign up on Fresha. Now you can proceed with Google, Facebook, Apple. If you already have a dedicated Facebook account or Google account or Apple account for your business, you can definitely use those. If not, you can just enter your personal mail address like this and then click on continue. Once you do that, you are going to enter your first name, your last name, a suitable password, for your account. Now I'm just going to complete the details and I have just completed the details and we can move towards our onboarding. So from here, we're going to enter our business name. Let's say our salon is called Lily's and then we can also link our website if you have one. If you don't have one, it is not a necessary step. Click on continue on the top right and then you're going to select the services that you offer. So let's say in terms of the services we offer, we do haircuts and styling, nail services, eyebrows and lashes, and you can also add other services that you're offering. If the services that you are offering are not listed over here, click on the other option and type in your service. Now, one other thing to note is that if you are offering, you know, multiple services, the one that you select first is going to be set as your primary service. So whatever is the main focus is going to be your primary service. So select that first. For me, it is going to be haircuts and styling. Now, once we've done that, we can click on continue on the top right. Once we click on continue on the top right, we can enter our team size. And then we are going to click on continue. Now keep in mind that they add example employees so you can better set up your own appointment system. We're going to click on continue and we can add our business location. If you don't have a business location, you can also select the option over here to, you know, not provide a location that you're only servicing with mobile or online services. So I want to add a location for this. I'm just going to do that like so. And once I've set my location up, I can click on continue. Once you click on continue, you're just going to click on continue once more and then click on done on the top right. And just like that, your business is set up. Now it's time to actually configure how you want to list your business, the types of services you have. Now over here on the top left, you have a home panel, then a calendar, a sales panel, a clients panel, a catalog of services, memberships, and products, and you also have online bookings, then marketing, payments, and then your team. So first, I just like to configure my team, and for that, I just go into the team panel on the left. Then I have this demo person added, which I am going to remove. We can do bulk edits, and you can just click on options over here, and we can also, uh, you know, just edit that to fit your actual person that you might have. I'm just going to archive this team member and I'm going to click on add on the top right. Once I click on add, I can add their first name, last name. So let's say I have a employee called Jane and you're just going to enter the email address like so. You can add their emergency contacts, the services, locations that they're going to be working at, as well as their calendar color. So for Jane at gmail.com. And then for the calendar color, I'm going to be using this pale lime green. And once we do that, we are going to add their job title. Let's say this is going to be our nail tech. And then I can click on add on the top right. Now, once I add this team member, I can proceed with the rest of my team members in the same way. 
Now, obviously, this is just an example. So I'm going to first list out the services because by default, you will see that all of the services that are added in your sample setup are added to every member. So for that, we are going to go back into catalog on the left and then we have our service menu. By default, a service menu is created and different categories that you selected are pre-populated. So from here, you can click on actions and you can just archive all of these packages first. You can just click on archive like this. And once we do that, I'm just going to discard these changes. We're just going to archive all of this. And now from here, I can add my categories and services. So let's say this is going to be hair services and the appointment color for hair services is going to be pink. I'll click on add. And then after that, I can add individual services in this. So from here, you can click on add on the top right and set up your package or your single service. Single services might just be a haircut, whereas packages could be things like a haircut, a blow dry, and a scalp massage. And then you can provide like a 5, 10, whatever percent discount. And that motivates people to spend more at your salon, at your beauty bar. So you can add individual as well as single services. To add a single service, just click on single service and we're going to add signature haircut layers or let's say it's yeah it's a layers haircut and then we're going to add the type of service this is we're just going to search for haircut yeah this is going to be a women's haircut and we can add the menu category as well as the description then you can add the duration let's say for us we take around 35 minutes for this and the price time is from fixed or free. So what this means is that you might have a price that ranges. Let's say you're doing balayages. Mm -hmm. So the dye that you're using for shorter hair, you're not going to spend that much money on the hair dye. But obviously, the more foils you have to apply, the thicker the hair is, the longer the hair is, your cost for that particular service, even though two people might be receiving the same exact service, simply because of the differences in the volume of hair, may alter the price of your service. So for that reason, you can add a from price, and that could be the range that it starts from. So the shortest hair could get that price. But as the price is going to be, as the hair volume increases or the length increases, your price could be varied. So for us, haircuts usually are going to be fixed. There's no variability in that. And then we can add variants as well. So let's say if someone wants to get something like a haircut and blow dry, instead of adding that as a completely separate service, I can add haircut plus blow dry because these two things go hand in hand so let's say haircut plus blow dry and this is going to take 50 minutes and after that we can add the price fixed and let's say this is going to be costing 100 extra and then i can just click on add now after that we can also add extra time so a little bit of time that can help your employees in taking a break so i want to add processing time after so no, I'm going to make this block time so the client is not present and the team member becomes occupied. So for every client, I want a five minute break time. Once we do that, we can select our team members from the left. So let's say only Lily is providing this service. Jane is a nail tech. She does not do this service. Then from the left, we are going to set up our online booking and commissions later. We're going to click on save over here. And once we've done that, we can proceed with the next step, which is online booking and sales. So for this, we're going to click on online booking on the left and you have a marketplace profile you can create. You can also reserve with Google. You can use Google reserves to directly get bookings from Google searches. And this is a really great way to find bookings. You can click on start now over here and proceed to the next step. Then you're just going to enter your information. So this is a beauty bar, salon, and treatment center. I'm going to have to write a more detailed description. We provide all types of beauty and uh, nail services from hair, nails, to facials. We have it all. Like this, obviously you can use ChatGPT and a bunch of other AI tools to do this. 
Once you do that, you can click on next step and you can add your opening hours and you can pin your address as well. So we can customize these opening hours if you have a break in between. So let's say we open at 10 and then we stay open till 2. And then after that, I can copy this. And let's say I reopen at 4. Let's say we have a 2 hour break or a 1 hour break. So I reopen at 4 where we have a 2 hour break and then we proceed till let's say 9. After that, I can click on yes, copy, and these working hours would be copied throughout the entire week. We can select any days off in which we don't work. Then you can also click on next step. You can add your business logo over here, click on add new photo, and you're just going to add the logo image. And then you can add multiple different photos of your business. So we can upload, you know, multiple images, make sure they do meet the required size for the image so the minimum size requirement is pretty large so i'm just gonna have to proceed to the next step over here once we go on we can now click on publish and our fresh up profile is now published now if i copy this over here and open this up this is going to be a simple booking center where people can select services they want and then click on add to booking click on continue and pick out a time that suits them so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.